Hi, this is Laura GP, and today we're going to have a look at connecting a PWA project into Power BI. So here we are on our project site. Okay, so from here, I need to take the URL at the top. So a quick copy of that to the clipboard. Now, into Power BI. So to get to the project data, it's, we're going to click on Get Data. And the way we get there is an OData feed. So click onto there. And this asks you for a URL. So I'm going to paste in that URL, but we need to edit it. So I'm going to take off the projects.aspx off the end, and I'm going to enter in underscore API forward slash project data. And then we're going to click OK. Now, if this is the first time you've logged into project, it will ask you to log in. Make sure you use your organizational account to do the authentication. Once you've got there, the navigator will come up and show you all the tables that are available in project. There are lots of them. You probably do not need them all. OK, so for this initial vi video, we're just going to go for two. So I'm going to go for projects and I'm going to go for tasks. And then I'm going to click transform data so that we can go into Power Query and remove half the columns at least. So if we look here in Power Query, if I look under, I, so we've got projects and we've got tasks. So under projects here, the number of columns is huge. There are all sorts to cope with the complexity that project can be. So the first thing I recommend you do on all of these is to do a choose columns. And I'm going to go for project ID. I'm keeping it really simple. Project name. And let's bring in some dates. So let's have a start date and a finish date. And click OK. So there we are, just those four columns. We can add columns later on by clicking on the cog wheel to pick other columns. Now let's just quickly do tasks, very similar, choose columns, unselect the select all at the top, and I'm going to go for project ID, task ID. Let's bring in task name. And let's bring in some dates. So a finish date and a start date. And also let's bring in how complete they are. OK. And click OK. And there we are. We've got our columns in there. And so now onto the home ribbon, we can click close and apply. The changes come through. And I've left detecting relationships on in this particular case. So if we go and have a look at our relationships, there is a relationship from projects to tasks using the project ID. And if we go and have a quick look at the data, give it a moment to load. There we are, there's the two projects, plus an extra one down the bottom, but we can look at that a little later. And if I look at the tasks, there you are. There are my tasks that have come through. So that was bringing through PWA project data into Power BI. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.